The new Prime Minister has addressed his first joint party room meeting in the top job as he tries to unify the coalition still shattered by the damaging leadership coup. Live to political reporter Jonathan Kersley. Jono, what's he had to say? Good morning, Sophie. This was the Prime Minister admitting there's a lot of work ahead for his government if they're to stay in government beyond the next election. Scott Morrison stood before Coalition MPs and suggested Bill Shorten was getting complacent. He recounted how the events of the coup almost three weeks ago had been very difficult for the Coalition party room, but then there were raucous cries of hear, hear and plenty of smiles while the cameras were present for the brief meeting. This was very much a show. The party trying to say to the public they are united behind the Prime Minister and for Mr Morrison, this was very much a rallying cry. The events of the past few weeks have been very difficult for us all. That's done. We all know that. And we have a mountain to climb together. All of us standing together. But take a look around that room and some of the divisive issues are still evident. Namely the issue of merit or quotas to boost the number of women within the party. There have been claims of bullying and intimidation over the past few weeks. Senior women have been voicing their concerns that something isn't right within the party and it needs fixing. Now there's a push to get a woman into Malcolm Turnbull's former electorate of Wentworth. Three women have so far put their hand up for pre-selection, including Mary Lou Jarvis, a local councillor, and former Deputy Mayor and New South Wales Government staffer Catherine O'Regan. The Prime Minister says the party does need to do more to get more women into Parliament, but the question over quotas or merit-based selections just won't go away. I'm a merit person and the party members will decide our candidate in Wentworth. I'd love to see a woman pre-selected in Wentworth too. Thanks, guys. Have a look at the Labor Party side of the Parliament and you can see what quotas do and it ain't a good look. And Sophie, in some news just in, Senator Lucy Gachui had threatened to name those who bullied her. She's just tweeted a short time ago saying the issue has been taken up by the Prime Minister. It appears as though she now won't carry out on that threat and Scott Morrison has been very vocal about being keen to keep the details of these bullying issues in-house. Very interesting indeed. Jono, thank you. Queensland is watching the number one news hour.